a big challenge because we have not only the crossword to solve, but we also have the jigsaw puzzle itself. Oh, they're spicy. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to touch the puzzle while I'm doing this. Today, we are solving a crossword jigsaw puzzle by SJG Gift Publishing. So the idea is that you would read the clue which has the number of letters and then try to complete the grid with your answer. But this, my friends, is a big challenge because we have not only the crossword to solve, but we also have the puzzle, the jigsaw puzzle itself. In the first video, we're going to solve the crossword answers, just the answers without the grid, okay? And then on video two, which is going to come after this one, we are finally going to work on the grid of this crossword puzzle and then find out if our answers were correct. And honestly, guys, feel free to leave your guesses for the questions in the comments. I will be reading to all of them and I will be replying to all of you guys. Let's solve this crossword together before video two. So let's do it. Okay, so this is how this is gonna work. I'm gonna go for the ones that I know for sure. Like number five, lights, camera, action. So let's go to the grid in this copy of the puzzle that I have and see if everything is gonna be as planned. A-C-T-I-O-N, got it, bingo. Okay, so now let's check this one down. What a wonderful world, obviously. So let's see if that's gonna fit in in the grid, which is the one down. W-O-R-L-D. Got it. Next one is actually down as well. Great Lakes Port and Major Car Manufacturing Center. And I'm pretty sure it's Detroit. So let's see if this one is gonna fit there. D-E-T-R-O-I-T. -E the problem now is making sure that it's actually gonna fit with the other words as well. Now the other one that seems to be pretty straightforward is number 13, Kips. It's either remain or retain. That's what I think it would be. But please, do let me know in the comments. This is, you know, I need your help as well to find all the right answers. So far it seems like retain is gonna work out. Another one that seems to be pretty obvious, like Rock Band, whose 1994 debut album was definitely Maybe, which I know for sure is Oasis. So this one is going to be uh, a vertical word on number four. So let's do it. Oh, a Zs, we got it. All right, so next one in my list that I can probably try to guess is number 14, Preside over a meeting and it's got five letters so i think it is going to be either chair or chair something <laughs> but i think it's going to be chair so let's put it to the test right now on number 14 c h a i r got it Number 15, I the only thing I think about is actually Amelia Hart or something like that. So I have to skip that one. Let's see what else I am probably can assume is going to be right. Number 17, capital of South Korea. So it's going to be Seoul and it's got five letters. Let's see if I got it right. Where is it? Number 17, S E O. You well, we got it. Again, just by looking through all the numbers and trying to find the ones that I know of, like this, this one, number seven, citizen of Tel Aviv. Perhaps I'm guessing it would be someone who is Israeli. And this one is going to be down. And I can already see his I and R there. So it's got to be Israeli. My next word, which I can assume is correct, is number eight. The international award for which Barack Obama was nominated. And this one has got three words. Each one has five letters. So it's easy to assume by now that this is going to be a Nobel Prize. 
And I can already see a number eight that has got the N already. So it's going to be Nobel Prize of something, which I'm guessing is going to be a Peace Prize. So it's Nobel L P E A C E and then Prize. Again, I may have to change things around as we go along, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a uh, Peace Prize. Here you go, bingo. Now for this next one, which is going to be number 16, flag or sag. It will have five letters. And because I've already got the D in the front, I can sort of guess it's going to be droop. But again, guys, none of this is in concrete before I actually do the grid jigsaw puzzle with all the answers. So please, as we go along with all of those um, clues, Please let me know in the comments which ones have you found that I'm not able to see. This will be crucial for part two of this jigsaw puzzle. Right, things are getting a little bit complicated. I'm looking through and I can't really see anything that I know of, but I'm pretty sure that number 21, fictional inspector played on TV by the late John Thor. This would be either Poirot or you know, Sherlock Holmes or uh, Morse, the Inspector Morse. So I, let's let's see if that's going to fit on number 21, which has also five letters. So let's start with M, Morse, M-O-R-S-E. There you go. My next one, which is a word uh, in vertical, it's number nine, fertile female in a bee colony. It's got to be queen, right? There's no doubt about that. So let's see if that's going to fit on number nine, vertical. Q, U, E, E, N. We got it. Next in my list is down number 10 pilot, and it has to end with R. So I'm led to believe it's going to be Aviator. There you go. Another good thing is that I know for sure that 21 is definitely going to be Morse. Dead to me. This next one down, which is number 11, it's lengthened, with, which has eight letters. And I've had a look around and I think it is actually extended. So I'm just going to leave this as it is for now, as extended. And there we go, also goes well with Morse. And have you watched BBC documentaries about it? I know that number 22 across is going to be Saffron. So let's see if that's going to work. I just have to be careful with my spelling. Oh no, it looks like I'm missing something. It might be a double F, but I'm not entirely sure. But I'm pretty sure it's Saffron. Now check this out. Number 12 down is a person who has reached, reached the age of 80. 12 letters. So it has to be octogenarian. Number 24 is actually N of Cleves. And I, I know that because of the letters. There's 4 plus 2 plus six letters in of cliffs. Well, let's not be cocky. Let's see in the grid if this is going to fit, if my guess is going to fit. So it should be, oh yes, I can already see it's, it's got a C. So it's in of cliffs. I need a break from puzzles, so I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have jalapeno bites. I normally have like half a dozen or so. 
the instructions on this frying pan is that I can only do low heat so I will fry this with a very small amount of oil on the bottom for about 20 minutes and then that should give plenty of time for the, uh, the cheese inside to sort of start melting. Now check this out. Don't worry I'm not going to touch the puzzle while I'm doing this. This is delicious. It's so good. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. What? Season all oh, the spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. So I normally have like a bit of ginger just to take the spice off. It's so good. Mmm. 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 Yum. <laughs> Yeah, so if I'm having something like this, I'm not going to touch the puzzles at all. And um, it's quite far away from me, by the way, but this is so good. So if you want a different snack and you like spicy food, look for jalapeno poppers or jalapeno cheese uh, poppers, okay? This is so good. Mm. Really, 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 really good. All right, let's continue with the puzzle, okay? I know you guys don't have much time to waste. And this video is going to be really long. The second video is probably going to be a lot shorter as well. This next one is super easy as well. It's number 28 uh, across and it's female attendant at the wedding. So I'm led to believe this would be bridesmaid. And I know that now because of that eye. So let's try. Brides made. There you go. Got it. Number 23 down is member of a religious order. And because I have the F and the I, I think it is a friar. Friar. This next one, my friends, is going to be number 25 down, concentrated citrus fruit juice, water down for drinking. So it's got two words, six and six letters. And it starts with O, and that's number 25 going down. So I'm led to believe it is going to be orange, right? But then orange what? I'm not entirely sure, so please leave in the comments what you think this might be. I actually thought about syrup, but syrup only has five letters and the next word should have six. So I'm a little bit lost. So let's just move on to something else, perhaps. Okay, dokie, number 23 is asked to attend, for example, a party and he's got seven letters. So I think he might be invited, but let's put it on the grid and see if it's gonna work. I can already see he's got eyes, so he's gotta be invited. All right, so I'm just randomly looking through the clues and I can spot number 20, uh, 39 actually, is a sea creature with eight suckered tentacles. This one is easy, it's probably gonna be octopus. So let's see what 39 can yell to us. Let's see if it's if I'm right or wrong. It's gotta be O, let's see, O C T U O P U S. There you go. But now looking back and looking at number 31 down, it says person turning a lift and it's 10 letters. It's obviously gonna be a hitchhiker. So let's see if it's gonna work out. And yes, it worked like a charm. Hitchhiker it is for number 31 down. This, music, this next one being half German is actually quite easy. Industrial town of Germany on the river Neckar. And I'm absolutely with all certainty sure it's going to be Frankfurt. No, I just can't get enough. You feel like 
Again, guys, uh, you know, I'm just being cocky because when it comes to crosswords, things can be actually very tricky and you may have to change your answer completely at the very end. Now, check this one out, 40 down, detailed and thorough. It's got two letters and then five letters. So it's two words. And I think it is in depth. But let's see if I'm actually right or wrong. It should be in depth. And because my first actual degree after high school was on literature, I know that this was Daniel Defoe. Okay, guys, number 37 is plant or animal which lives in the water. And he's got seven letters. So we know it is going to be aquatic. A Q U A T I C, I think. But now I have a dilemma because I know Frankfurt is spelled wrong here. It's actually Frankfurt with A. But if I write aquatic, it's going to come right. So go figure. Same as octopus. You see, I can see the T there. So Frankfurt is actually correct. So. Please let me know in the comments, what have I done wrong? Now check this one out, 46 down, act of intentionally setting fire to a property. That's obviously arson. And here's another super easy clue. 45, Repub Republic of South Asia and the capital being New Delhi. So it has to be India. Let's see. Here's another one that's actually not that difficult. 49. French expression used in English as associated with a social blunder or indiscretion. Of course, it is going to be I don't know the pronunciation correctly, so please, correctly if I'm wrong, is Fao Pa. And check this one out, which I completely sort of overlooked. A fast running flightless bird, and it is obviously ostrich. Okay, and the last one in my list that I know for sure without having to do any research is Teleton, the longest running uh, sort of charity TV program. There you go. Okay, guys, for the remaining clues, I may need your help. So please leave it in the comments if you can find the answer for that. Josiah Watt, British 18th century pottery, potter and industrialist. Next, Louis Watt, air pioneer who made the first flight across the English Canal. And the word should have seven letters. My next mystery word, which I have no idea about, is Duke Watt, 20th century US jazz composer, pianist, and conductor. Also, the Nutcracker by Tchaikovsky. I know it is Nutcracker, but what is remaining? I have no idea. Now, funny enough, the lullaby is actually Cradle Song. I knew it. I just couldn't remember it. This next one I do not know is the title of a book by Nicholas Evans, The Horse What. This one I don't even know how to pronounce. A North something Thumbshire scene of civil war battle. County in England situated around the lower Severn Valley. No idea. Hunting dog, 
43. No idea. Holiday destination with S and R. Also no idea. I tried Disney, but it doesn't work. Okay, everyone. So for the for the um, words, I have at least thirteen that I do not know, and I may need your help. So please leave in the comments the answers for the missing words, and also for any other words that you might think I've done wrong. Please do that. Alright guys, so that's how this one is going to work. We're going to jump in now to the actual jigsaw puzzle part. And as you can see, there are two types of uh, pieces here. There are the grid ones, which are the bigger, sort of the bigger images. And then you have all the write-up, which are the clues. And that is what we're going to focus on this video today. So I'm going to lay all of the pieces down for us to solve just the clue part of the puzzle. Let's do it. I've done a really rough uh, sorting. So what I've done is I put the edges, you know, the left side of this part on that side. Then whatever looked like it is the top, um, I put it on the top over the air. There is no actual proper sorting like I normally do on a tray and everything nicely, uh, perfectly lined up and all that. And the fun part about this puzzle is that I remember all the questions by heart. I know exactly where they should go. So this shouldn't be an actual um, big, big challenge. But anyway, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to even worry about the shapes of this puzzle, of this part of the puzzle. I, As I said, because I remember exactly what the questions were and the answers, just based on the clues that I remember. So let's see if I can test my memory right now. So the first question was on, um, oh God, what was it? it? Was something to do with the poet and industrialist. And so let's see if I can find something to do with the industrialist. Oh yeah, of the 1988. No, that's not that British. Here we go. There it is. And that was the second question. Lights, camera, action. So that's going to go right there, just under a cross. Yeah, at the start of the shoot. There you go. So that's our first part. Lights. Lights, camera, action. Got it. Okay. I have one in the middle here. There. Josiah. There you go. Josiah. That's what it was. Josiah something. British 18th century potter and industrialist. 18th century. So I'm, I'm now looking for the word century. Oh my god. <laughs> this is much harder than... Much harder than uh, I thought it would be. Oh, here it is. I just found it. So that's part of the 18th century. So let's see if it, that's going to fit. Hey, yeah, we got it. So that is our first clue there. Josiah across. Josiah, British, 18th century potter and industrialist. Lights, camera, action. Film director's words at the start of a shoot. Tremble with fear. This one is Kips. So let's see if I can... S oh, actually, let's complete this top part first. Hey. So this one I can actually easily see because I have already separated the pieces there on the top. Porsche, 18th century. The uh, industrialist. I don't know if this is going to... Honestly, I don't know if this is going to interlock properly, but I... I'm really hoping it will. Potter. This that's a very long bit there. There you go. Oh, love this already. This is super fun. Cross here. And now. No, no, not this one. Okay, so that's all I got for the top, I think. Unless I can find a corner. Oh there it is. That's a corner here. Cool. And I know it's a corner because it's the beginning of the, you know, the, the, the clues there. Okay, now we need to find number two, which is going to be on that pile over there. Okay, so that part is completed. A lot easier than I uh, predicted because, as I said, I do remember all the questions and I do remember the answers as well. So it should be 
this should be a straightforward sort of word. Okay, let's try that. No, whichever numbers. Yeah. Okay, now number 14 across. I do not remember. <laughs> 16. I'll have to complete a couple more things here just to see if I... Just let me think. I'll, I'll go through the pieces again. Okay. And see if I can recognize any word or sentence that goes there. Yes, I think this one goes there. Flag, sag, capital of something to do with New Delhi. I'm pretty sure it's going to be around here. And if I find that E, which is part of Kips, I will then be able to identify what the next question was. Or at least the beginning of it. Okay, so let me focus on finding the E, P, which is not going to be easy. This is going to sound funny now, guys, but remember that the angel thing. You know, the angel thing that I mentioned the other day? So I'm going to look for an angel with a very fat um, wing. There you go. So we have the angel here, the head, and that's going to, one of his wings are quite chubby. So let's see if I can spot that. And then obviously with a with an E right in, the, right in the head. There you go. We found our angel and now I know what the next question is. So it's something to do with the president of something and then Louis Armstrong and Isabel's song. Okay, there you have it. Look at that. Okay, so president of, oh no, it's not president, it's preside over a meeting. And I think the answer was a chair, something, a chair, uh, spoke, spokes chair, chair, something. So I'm going to look for uh, over a meeting. Okay. So I'm not going to even worry about the shape right now. I'm just going to look for the word meeting. Because all I need is another clue for that. And then I'll be able to sort of remember the next question. Yes, so now I know it is something to do with Tchaikovsky. Uh, a sequence in the music uh, used in the ballet by Tchaikovsky, something like that. Tchaikovsky ballet, famous ballet. There you go. Tchaikovsky ballet. Now, I might actually leave this one here and try something else, perhaps, just to, you know, to empty this part a little bit. Since I'm not actually seeing that specific... Oh, now I see it. <laughs> see how funny it is, eh? Let me know in the comments if you do exactly the same thing as me. Like you look at it for something for half an hour and then when you look away and you look back, you suddenly... Oh, it's right there. Okay. Spice made from the dried stigmas of crocus. And this one, there are several documentaries on YouTube about uh, saffron so there you go and the answer was saffron which was um, a cross in white on the left side of the um, grid okay guys so i've got here at 38 country of southwest england situated around the lower part of seven or severn yell something oh. <laughs> so i'll just look for that part of severn which I actually don't really know the answer for this one. So this one is a good one if you wanna if you wanna jump on Google now and, and check it out. Which country of southwest England is situated around the lower Severn Yell something? <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can spot that part of the that part of Severn. See as I'm looking through as I'm looking through the pieces, I'm thinking about the answers already <laughs> as I look at them. That's why that's why I say get really distracted really quickly. So if I don't do this going by, you know, one by one, I just get totally um, all over the place, really. So let's search. Da, 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 da. Sever. Oh, here it is. I found it. So it should be sever. There you go. Okay. And now we have the beginning of the next question, which then opens up um, in my memory, seven, seven, yeah, yeah, what valley? Oh, it's valley. Okay, seventh valley. Should we try to look for that EY? Perhaps 
it's going to be right on that wing over there. See if I can spot it. If I don't, I'm not going to bother with it. I'll just go to the next the the next clue. Okay. So what am I looking? Uh, e Y. E Y. Now is this all recording? Yes. Okay. There you go. This is going to be part of the valley. All right. Industrial town of Germany. Germany and I remember seeing the Germany before because I grabbed it and I try to fit in with the German born um, f uh, wife and now where is Germany okay it's just gone now gone here it is Germany right industrial town of Germany of something <laughs> uh, I don't remember that question sorry of of German town of flightless no so I may have to I may have to do this one based on the shape so I'll see if I can find that shape it's got that um, that uh, leg on the on the right side going up like that I may be able to sort of spot it given that side is quite a big wing there I don't really remember Let's see what else is there. Hunting dog. I don't know the answer there today. Republic of South Asia. Its capital being New Delhi. And I know that's going to be India. So let's see if we can find cap its capital is Delhi. Okay, so let's see if we can find Delhi amongst all of those, all of those pieces here. Mecca. It's not Mecca, is it? Delhi, 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 Delhi. No. <laughs> oh, on the river. Here, look at that. Germany on the river. Okay, on the river what? Neckar. There you go. Got it. On the river Neckar. Okay, now let's complete that part over there. Hopefully, you are actually seeing all of this. Yeah, now we're up to 45, we have 47, right there, Republic of South Asia, uh, its capital, New Delhi, sorry, India, flightless bird, which would be an ostrich, flightless bird, I had this in my hand before, yes, uh, fast running flightless bird, that was the, the clue for number 47, fast running Fast running, here it is. Fast running. Okay, fast running, flightless bird. So I'm gonna look for the word bird now. Birds. <laughs> cool. Uh, prods, French expression used in English, meaning a uh, social blunter or indiscretion. That was what, what the question was. So French expression used in English. I gotta find a word English. Also collected coriander, spinach, some rocket salads. I don't really see the word English here anywhere. <laughs> A pilot Barack perhaps nominated which social oh social blunter you see that's part of it. French expression used in English for a social blunter or an indiscretion. Alright, so there you go. Oh no, indiscret blunter or indiscretion. Here we go. Okay, getting there. I'm really enjoying this. This is super fun to complete. Honestly, I couldn't recommend it more. If you come across a jigsaw puzzle with a crossword, please buy it and have a have a go with it. It's gonna be super fun. 
And even if you, you know, if you can't find the answers to the clues, just do some research, do some referencing, go on Google and see if you can find the answers. But try to do as many as you can first. Um, and again, you can always skip the ones you don't really know. Andrew, actor who played uh, Manuel in Mount in Fauci Towers. And the answer is um, uh, Shekas, I think his name was, wasn't it? There, lengthy. And look what I just found. This is, this is a breakthrough in this puzzle. Now I know for sure that the across is going to be here and the downs are going to be here too. That's why we have uh, two sequences of numbers on this side, you see. That's why we have 1 to 52, and then we start on 1 again on that edge or border. So let's start by pushing the borders here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 6. Higher number, 7. There. Let's make sure that you guys are seeing this on the camera, okay? 11, 12. Okay, I'll stop here, and I'll try to complete this part. Well, this one should be fairly easy to see because of that. Remember the uh, the alien head, but this one is not an alien head. Now that looks more like a that looks more like a dog's head. <laughs> there, and it's not it either. So no problem all. Okay, what a wonderful world. A lyric by um, who was it again? I. I forgot right now. <laughs> what a wonderful world by Louis Armstrong. That's what it is. Um, perhaps religion heavy. Heavy? Yep. Heavy. No, that's not it. I think I just tried this one before. Eh? Okay. What a wonderful world. World. Louis Armstrong. There goes the uh, raise money. There you go. Wonderful Armstrong. What a wonderful world. And it should be in italic. Funny enough, I really don't see any Italian words here. Maybe I need a break. I could try to fit that one in just based on the shape. I'll see if I can spot that specific shape there. Could it be this one here? Uh, yeah, I think it is. All right. Just one more to go there, which has the word world world what a wonderful world which i don't know if you remember guys but on the um when i was solving the when i was solving the 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 the, the clues it was right on the very edge on the left side that was the first one on the top of the grid world going down found it great lake sport and major car manufacturing and the next one is Horse title of a novel by Nicholas Evans, and then Rock Band, whose 1994 debut album was definitely Baby, maybe, and that's definitely Oasis. Citizen of Citizen of Tel Aviv, and the answer would be Israeli. See, I'm really running low now with um, with the pieces, which means we are very close to ending this. All right, so we're now down to a Citizen of Tel Aviv. And I remember well, perhaps, it's suggesting who lives in Tel Aviv is what? An Israeli. And the good thing now is that we are starting to run out of pieces, so it's going to be a lot easier, even easier for me. So I'm looking for the word perhaps. Let's see. Yes, we got it. Yes, sometimes it looks like it doesn't, it's not going to fit. But then once you place the pieces there, it just... It just does. <laughs> it's so weird. Really weird. Yeah, I just popped it. Piece the air. Ooh. So very similar to that. It's going to fit in here. That's really odd. I thought it would be that first piece that I tried. I'm not going to push my luck. Okay. Number nine. Down. Something till. Let me just zoom in for you to see it. There. Number nine. Till. To what? And then, oh, I really can't read it. Bummer. 
Let's see if I recognize the the words here amongst all of the uh, you know the the um, pieces. All right, former uh, to small instrument age, perhaps was nominated as fertile. Yes, I think it is fertile female in a beehive and the answer was queen for tire so I'm looking for the word male from female for male for male for male perhaps da, 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 da. small female champion female there you go easy peasy female uh, in a beehive Beehive. That doesn't look like it's a beehive, does it? But it's gotta be. You know, it sort of can have a really good clue of what's actually happening. Fertile female in a beehive. I'm gonna look for hive at this stage. Hive, hive, hive. Bee. Right, we are heading towards the very end, so I'm literally running out of pieces now, so it's a lot easier. Number 40 goes here. Let me just check if the camera is actually capturing all of this. Yeah. Surname of Robinson Crusoe author. Yeah, 44. Yay, we got to the very edge now. See, so that is how big this puzzle is. From there to there is about, what, 35 centimeters roughly. Let's see if I can. Nope. Yep, so we got to the very end of this corner. Surname of Robinson Crusoe uh, author six plate. Uh, What's that one? Yeah, circuit tentacles, tentacles, and it's Robinson there. Intentional, yes, yeah, someone who sets fire intentionally sets fire to a property, and that was arson, which I think I'm actually misspelled. I was just thinking about it now. Okay. Uh, to the act. Okay, the act of intentionally setting fire to a property. The yeah. number. What's that number? See, I'm still intrigued by this number twelve. Yeah. This has got to go somewhere under blender, etc., etc. Seven. The yeah. tentacles. This one is going to be... Alright, getting... Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now I can only sort of see if I can spot the right piece to fit around those that edge part of the, the puzzle. And uh, it shouldn't be too hard, really. Let me just give it a try, see what I, see what I can do. See, that piece looks so different. Mm. That, look at this one. <laughs> that was going there. There you go. Okay. What else can I try to fit in here? Let me see. There's some, some um, sort of empty, solid colors. But it shouldn't be that that difficult to place them on the board okay no. oh yes that one looks like it belongs right there there's a little one there where's the little one probably this yes yeah it's really weird eh this puzzle like, I look at the piece and it doesn't look like it's gonna fit, but as soon as I put it in, it just sits perfectly there. Okay. E -Y. Oh, yes, that one goes there. And see, it's an angel facing me with a, a very different sort of a, a wing there, you see. Look really wide. So I'm going to look for that specific piece right now. There, yeah, just found it. Look how interesting that is. 
Fascinating, isn't it? <laughs> okay, and now that one goes. Let me try to figure out. Yeah, like that. No, it's not. All right, and I'm, I'm starting to run out of um, pieces, you see, because now that's the edge, the very beginnings of the. Um, the, the grid, which is going to be on video too. What a down for Donna was nominated. Oh yes, yeah. International award for which uh, Barack Obama was nominated in 2009. See now at this stage, at, at this stage we are starting to see parts of the grid which is very exciting. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see it as well. At this stage here, that's where we start seeing the grid and that is that is going to be the limits for uh, today's video. Well, let's see if we can complete that now. This is going to be, honestly guys, this is going to be a lot harder than everything else, I think, because I've got like the next part, I mean, it's going to be very tricky so I may have to complete, I may have to complete the grid video uh, based on shapes. We'll see. He's gonna probably gonna be by shapes only. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll be able to uh, sort of remember all the numbers uh, without having any reference to the questions. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, in fact, I will have the I will have the questions right there, so it shouldn't be uh, an issue. But it's gonna, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot harder, a lot more difficult to complete than this part. Right, uh, which ones, which of you need a number five somewhere? Let's see. Oops. <laughs> you can't have a number five all by itself there in an empty space. The... Who's missing a five there? All right, we are almost here now. So hang, hang tight with me there, please. Oh, you see it. Okay. Okay. And this one, maybe. Oh, yes, right there. And then this one here, there. Look at that. And now I can start, possibly can start trying to complete that edge. Let's see. So all of that white part is going to be facing this way, okay? 22, there, yeah, I found it. Okay, okay, and look at that, that big wing there. Right there. Who's next? Oh, I've got a, oh yeah, nominated right there. Let's see if I can find now. Find out, find that angel with a very long arm facing that way. You see, very long, unusual arm. There you go, I think I found it. Got it. Now another angel with a very traditional, uh, very traditional wing, but it's got, it's like a really flat no curves at all on that side. Well, that shouldn't be an issue. They, they, they found it. I think I found it. Ah, yes. Now, I'm looking for, right now, for an angel that has that strange looking wing, but it's quite wide as well. A really thick wing on that side. And I just spotted it right there okay there you go now another one little one there i think it's gonna go there what else another angel with a long long and very short uh, wing on that side oh that's the corner here but let me look for that small wing since I'm focusing on it right now. Yeah. No. Funny enough, I don't see it 
anywhere. Or where does that go? Or conductor. Haha. <laughs> Oh, it looked like it was going to fit there, but it didn't. Okay, now that one goes right there, I think, because of that little arm there. This one would be, let me think. Let me think. No, we can't go there. This one is right on the top there, perhaps. What are the top ones? Yes. This one goes there. Oh no. <laughs> there. Look at this one with a very long arm there. It's like one of those angels with a long arm right there. Getting there, getting there. Very close now. Maybe number five there. And the last one there. Oh, it's not the last one. There's two more. And interestingly, I. Oh, yes, I do have them here. That one goes there. And I think that's not it, is it? No. That's not it. I don't have it here. It's it's in the middle of... It's amongst the other uh, pieces. Well, let's see if I can find it now. But I don't think I will. It's going to be really hard to spot that one piece there. This is going to be the only one that's got that. The beginnings of the grid. Nah. No way I can spot it. <laughs> now I'm gonna leave it and then we're gonna complete the remaining of this puzzle on video too. So that's gonna be our missing link for today, okay? This one is fully interlocking by the looks of it. All right, guys, this is the very end of part one of two for the crossword jigsaw puzzle. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had the most fun ever completing this puzzle here with you. And honestly, guys, feel free to leave your guesses for the questions in the comments. I will be reading to all of them and I will be replying to all of you guys. Let's solve this crossword together before video two. But this is it. I will leave you for now and I'll see you on video two for the crossword jigsaw puzzle. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check my playlist right here of gameplays. And if you want to see my actual puzzle collections where I do reviews, check quality of pieces and things like that, check this playlist right here on the bottom. I will see you next time. Bye.